In honor of St. Patrick's Day, we're making shepherd's pie, or some people call it cottage pie. You'll want to stick around. Shepherd's pie is basically a layer of meat with some vegetables in it, topped by some mashed potatoes. And today we're going to use mashed potatoes in half of it, and we're going to use sweet potatoes mashed on the other half of it. So it'll be a little bit of a different twist. And then all of that is topped with some beautiful cheese, melted down, and it will be delicious. Let's show you how it's done. Because we are Outdoor Skills Made Easy, we've tried to pre-cut, pre-prep everything that we can so when we get to our campsite and we've got our Dutch oven going, we can just open our cooler and pull out the ingredients. Let me show you what we've done. Our potatoes that are pre-cut, There's our pound and a half of ground beef. There's our onions that are already cut up. We've got one cup of onions. And here are all the spices that we're going to use. Teaspoon of garlic, one half teaspoon of pepper, one half teaspoon of thyme, two teaspoons of parsley, one half teaspoon of rosemary, and one half teaspoon of salt. Our frozen vegetables that we'll put in the meat as we're cooking that. One half cup of each, carrots, corn, and peas. The cheese that's going to go on top and the butter that we'll use in cooking the meat. And here's the other half of the stick of butter that we'll use in the mashed potatoes. We've got our Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, nobody can say that right, but we brought some. There's our beef broth, we'll use a half a cup of that. There's our real salt in case we need some more just to season to taste and then our can opener and our measuring spoon. So everything that we need for this dish comes in this little container. Easy to do, easy to take with you, easy to prepare. Let's go. We've put our Dutch oven on the coals and we're just going to put the potatoes in there as it's warming up. That will make them a little bit easier to work as we're making our mashed potatoes from them. And once that's done, we'll start with our onions, get those all cooked and ready to go, add the vegetables, and then we'll work on the meat. So we're gonna start with our section butter, which just basically means that we're, we took a section of the butter, we're using it with the mashed potatoes. This other section, half of the butter, is going into the Dutch oven and then we'll saute our onions and make those nice and soft. Toward the end of your onions being cooked, we want to add our frozen vegetables. So let's do that now. Take that off. Oh, that looks beautiful. Let's add our vegetables and stir them in. We'll let those cook for a few minutes and then we'll add our ground beef. Oh yeah, <laughs> the onions and the vegetables are perfect. They're ready to go. It's time to add the ground beef and the spices. Just break that up a little bit. You know, another trick with this recipe is if you wanted to just label the bags in the order that you're going to use them, it makes it super simple. Now we'll put some spices on there. I'll just let that cook for a little bit. Come back and check it in a few minutes. Once you've cooked your ground beef until it's no longer pink, it's time to add the beef broth and the Worcestershire. Wow, that smells delicious and it looks beautiful. If it looks like you've got more than about a tablespoon of, of moisture in there, you may want to spoon that off. And we're looking really good right now. So we're going to go ahead and add our broth, beef broth, we'll just add that in. 
and then we'll add a tablespoon of Worcestershire. I'll stir that around just a little bit and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. If it's warm outside, you may want to leave the Dutch oven lid off for the next 10 minutes. But as you can see, it's cold out here. We've got snow on the ground. So we're going to kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. As our Dutch oven's been cooking, we've been off camera making our mashed potatoes. We're gonna add those now to the top. First, we'll start with our regular potatoes. Now we'll add our sweet potatoes. This is kind of unusual where we have both types of potatoes in the same dish, but we thought it would be fun and interesting. And we're gonna make the tops just a little bit spiky there. Do the same over here. And we're gonna add some cheese to the top of that. We're gonna cover that up and let that go for about 30 minutes. We've been waiting long enough. It's time to check it out and eat. Oh, that looks beautiful. Because we're cooking in a Dutch oven and it tends to hold the moisture in, it generally won't brown on top as if you were doing it in your oven and just broiling the top of it. But it looks great, it smells wonderful, and I'm ready to eat. We'll get a nice deep spoonful here. Oh yeah, some meat on the bottom, some of those potatoes. That looks delicious. Let's give it a try. Wow. All the flavors are coming through the vegetables, the meat, the potatoes, the cheese. That is really so good. Easy thing to do, easy thing for you to prepare and take out and do in a Dutch oven when you're camping. We hope that you'll try it. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.